What's up everyone, this is Wipeout from IronStarMovement.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own character in 3D.GameHeroes. From the title screen, go down to Editor and select New. The game only uses six different frames for all of the character's animations. First one is Stand, then you have Walk 1 and 2, the Hooray Pose, and Attack 1 and 2. So we're going to start with Stand. The st creating the Stand frame first is going to give us the baseline for all of the rest of the frames. So select edit and then click edit pose and then select the stand frame. Now once we're here you can move your perspective with the right analog stick and depending on your perspective it'll change the orientation of the d-pad's movement of the selection cursor. So one of the first things you'll notice is that there's an arrow on the ground uh, on the side of one of the, the boxes here. Now this arrow indicates the forward direction of your character and also the ground level plane. So, the character is going to face this way and his feet are going to be at the bottom here, of course. Now, the way I like to start is with the character's feet. You start with the baseline here on the center line and you pick your initial color. Let's say in this case we're going to go with blue. So use L1 and R1 to toggle through your color palette and you're only allowed seven colors for your character so you want to play them carefully. So select the first color in the palette and hit triangle. Okay so for this tutorial I'm going to be creating the boy character from the Super Nintendo Secret of Mana game. So I'm going to start with brown for his boot color. We'll fill it in, I'll start filling it in right here. Now the center of your character is going to be uh, right here where this bold intersection is on the bottom plane. So you want to put their footprint somewhere slightly offset from that point. Next is his pants.
So he's getting pretty close to completion now. Uh, make a few final touches and then we're going to move on to the next frame. Fresh! Now, once you've created your standing pose, you're happy with that, it's a good idea to save. So hit circle, and then hit circle again and go down to save. Create new save. Yes. So now, you'll notice right off the bat one thing is that the shield floats in front of the character. Now, there's, ch there's a choice you can make here. You can either have the character with his arms down in the standing pose and live with the fact that, that your shield's gonna float in front of you all the time or you can build your character with an arm that holds the shield up with an arm that's always for it then when he's not holding a shield he'll always be pointing but you'll have the shield the entirety of the game except for the opening scene so it really doesn't matter so uh, I think in this case I'm going to correct it but otherwise I'm looking around and it looks pretty good So we're going to go back to edit and then we're going to go to pop, copy pose. We're going to select the stand and the C is going to come up showing that that's the one that's going to be copied and then a P will show up on the one that we select showing that that's where it's going to be pasted to. I'm going to select yes and then stand one is going to be copied into walk one. Hit circle, go from copy pose to edit pose and select walk one. Now the easiest way to uh, alter this for your uh, walking animation I, I think is to select the feet one row of pixels at a time and move them. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, with the right foot forward. So what we're going to do, make sure I get all the foot blocks in place there. We're going to start at the waist, move all the blocks forward one. Go down, move them forward two. Go down again and move them forward three. So now you have the right foot forward. Then do the same thing for the other side, but in the opposite direction. So move that row back one, next row back two, and the next row only back two, not three. That way you still have that gap between the knee and the toe right here. Highlight it for you guys. You want to maintain this gap right there. Then you want to bring this arm back, this arm back, the opposite direction of the leg. So let's select the arm one row at a time. Perfect! Okay, so now for walk two, we're just going to copy stand over again to walk two. And then we're going to edit it.
Now, to create a little extra flavor, uh, like I, I like to go in and create any like anything that flows on the character, like belts or hair or anything like that. Go in and move those things for the walk to animation. For Hooray, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy over the stand to Hooray and then edit it. For the hooray stance, we're going to go ahead and put both the arms up and then what I like to do is I like to give them a little jump. So I always build the character with one pixel of room there. Bring their toes down so they're standing on their tippy toes and jumping. Oops. I like to copy the right foot forward in, uh, frame over to attack one. So uh, we're going to find that one. And this one I accidentally copied over walk two, but the right foot forward is actually walk one for me. So I'm going to copy that over to attack one. And we're going to do something similar to what we did with the uh, other arm here. So there you have it. I hope that this helps you create your own hero in 3D.Game Heroes. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. This is Wipeout from IronStarMovement.com. Peace.